First of all, can someone explain to me why Braun Strowman was beating up a grown-up baby Herman on Raw today? What is up, Humanoid Nation? So I just watched the first Raw of the new era where it's Raw and SmackDown only right now, which they're kind of still working on it. You would think that they would know by now because they've done this shit before, like how to do it right. But obviously they're not doing it right because like Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton, one from Raw, one from SmackDown, fighting each other on SummerSlam. I thought we were stop, going to stop doing that, like putting interpromotional matches together. Because like when they first started, they did that all the time and that's what kind of killed it. But then they got the groove right and it was just Raw Smackdown, which is, was awesome. I liked Raw brand extension only when it was actually working. But the beginning and dying days is when it sucked. But so far, it's a WWE. I thought they would know how to fix their mistakes, but hey, this is a WWE. They never learn. They just don't learn. But anyways, enough of that. I like to talk about the name they're giving out their, their, their new title. Since there's no champion on Raw, Dean Ambrose is on SmackDown as a WWE champion. Raw has to get their own champion. You would think, are they going to bring the world title back from back when it was the Triple H show? No. Would they bring back a different title, like the Wing Eagle belt, who knows, like, or some shit like that? No. They have a new title, and it's called, get this, the WWE Universal Championship. Just saying that name gives me a fucking headache. Oh, my God. That is the dumbest name I ever heard. Every time I heard it on Raw, a little bit of me died inside. No, correction. Every time I heard it on Raw, part of me died all the time. It's bad enough they called their fans the WWE Universe, which was never catchy to begin with. But now, they're actually naming their title the WWE Universal Title. Fuck. We're going to have to be stuck with this shit now? On Raw, you're your WWE Universal Champion. My God, this sounds like something you make in a game. Like in one of their 2K games, like you make a championship. It's called the Universal Title. You would never think they would actually put that shit on TV. I wonder what it's going to look like. Is it going to have a butterfly? Is it going to be purple like when Jeff Hardy wore it in TNA? How ridiculous is this thing going to be? Are they actually going to have a say universal on it with big letters? Fuck me. But anyways, enough of that little rant there. What else happened on Raw? So the New Day came out. And they had a segment with Black Ralphus. Whose name was Sunny Boy. It was funny the first time and the second time. But then the joke died after a while. No, it really, really died. And then the club came in and was... Black Ralph is just ran away. I don't know where this was going. Is he, uh... Does he work for the company or what? Is he a plant? Of course he's a plant. Yeah, but does he work officially for the company? What is he, a, a road agent? No, he's not a road agent. He's not a wrestler. What does he do? Production? Drive the truck like Ralphus did? Is he Black Ralphus? Because he kind of has the gut going on. Oh my god, imagine if New Day brought that Sunny Boy in all the time now. They would have their own version of Ralphus. Like I said, Black Ralphus. Oh my god. Oh yeah, by the way, the whole thing when the show started, they're giving shit to Roman Reigns saying, Hey, you dropped the ball, Roman. You dropped the ball. It's all your fault that we don't have a championship on Raw. It's all your fault. Oh, by the way, you're going to be put in a fatal four-way to determine the number one contender of the other fatal four-way. Have a good one. What the fuck? How do you go from telling the guy he fucked up in the major main event to telling him he's in the fatal four-way, a number one contender to another fatal four-way to put those two together and 
they take on a more contender of Seth Rollins to become the WWE Universal Champion. Who booked this shit? Who booked this shit? Really? No, who booked this? I want to know. I want to know who booked that angle, and I just want to slap him silly. Because that was just stupid. <laughs> wow, just wow. Oh, and by the way, Sasha Banks became the women's champion, which has finally, finally happened. So glad that it happened. Hey, it was a good match. She deserves it. Like the crowd said, you deserved it. You re she really deserved it. But other than that, the whole show was pretty okay. Still don't get why Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton's taking place. When they should be like having their, or they having their separate thing like Raw pay per view and a SmackDown. Yeah, of course, because they're doing their own separate pay per views. So I guess the main shows is where like, oh yeah, the main show is where like they have it together like the olden days. So it kind of makes sense, but yeah. But again, why did Braun Strowman beat up a baby, grown up baby Herman in the today's Raw? It was weird. As soon as I saw the guy, I go like, who the fuck is this jobber? Then he started talking, and then I saw his hair. I go like, baby Herman? Really? Oh, what's up? Also, what's up with jobbers that they're bringing in now? It was like, Nia Jax took on some jobber woman. Didn't even get no music. <laughs> yeah. This felt like 95 all over again. By the way, Nia Jax is sexy. I just gotta say that. I like the big girls. But other than that, it was an okay Raw. It was just okay. It's refreshing not to hear Jerry Lawler anymore. Corey Graves, at least it's a fresh new voice to hear on Raw. But yeah, that's pretty much what I think of Raw. Some stupidity, some of it was just weird. Black Ralphus. But anyways, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye!